This is how the new DJI Osmo Action 4 performs in a studio environment with a minimal amount of lighting and a microphone connected directly to the camera with a cheap USB-C to 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. What do you think? I personally think this shot looks fantastic considering that it's filmed with an action camera and the audio quality is great. So in today's video, I'll show you the settings and gear I use to achieve this shot with the Action 4 as well as briefly compare it to the GoPro Hero 11 to see which one is a better studio camera. But I can already say that the Action 4 will outperform the GoPro Hero 11 in this environment because the Action 4 has much better low-light performance. Anyhow, starting with the gear, the first item is the Boya BYK4 USB-C microphone adapter, which allows me to connect my Deity VMic D4 shotgun microphone to the Action 4. I've positioned the VMic D4 slightly out of frame, so it won't be visible in the shot, and I have placed it as close as possible to me for the best sound quality. In terms of lighting, I'm using three lights in this shot for my key light i'm using the ambitful ef100 with a 60 by 90 centimeter softbox this light is positioned at about 30 40 degrees from the camera slightly above me pointing downwards and i have set its brightness to 65 percent to reduce the iso to 100 on the action 4 to achieve the least amount of noise in the image however if you don't have a very powerful key light you can increase the iso on the action 4 to 200 or even 400 without adding too much noise moving on the second light is the we light k21 rgb light stick which is right here behind me set to 100 percent brightness illuminating the background and finally i have here the ulanzi vl49 light which acts as a practical light it's not that important but it definitely adds some interest in this part uh, of the shot and also of course i have the window open in here to bring up the overall exposure in the room and a foam board in here that acts as a fill light to bring up the shadows on this side of my face moving on to the camera settings i set the resolution and frame rate to 4k 25p to get the highest image quality then i set the field of view to standard d warp i think it's the best one to use when shooting indoors as the wide field of view has too much distortion however if you want the most resolution from the sensor and more flexibility in post-production you can shoot in ultra wide and reframe your shot later on but i don't think it's really necessary because you lose some quality when cropping in post anyway and i personally prefer to frame my shots in camera as much as possible moving on i disabled rock steady because the camera sits on a tripod then i set the shutter speed to 1 over 50 to get the most exposure without affecting motion blur in the image and i set the white balance to 5500 kelvin because my key light has the same color temperature after that, in the image adjustment menu, I select costume and set the sharpness and noise reduction to minus two. This is a new option on the Action 4 that wasn't available on the Action 3. And if you don't have time to manipulate things around in post-production, I would recommend leaving everything at zero. But I like controlling my footage as much as possible in post-production. And that's why I turned everything down to minus two. In terms of ISO, I'm using ISO 100 to get the least amount of noise in the image. But like I said before, if you don't have powerful lights, you can increase the ISO to 200 or even 400 without getting too much noise in the image. Then I set the color to D log M to get the widest dynamic range and the most flexibility in post production when color grading. Finally, I have the microphone gain set to minus five because the microphone is very close to me. Now let's do a quick side by side comparison with the GoPro Hero 11 shot with the same settings as on the Action 4. Theoretically, because the Action 4 has a bigger sensor, it should provide less noise in the shadows and also a bit of a brighter image when shooting at the same settings as on the gopro but according to what i'm seeing on the front screens the gopro actually looks a bit brighter than the osmo action 4 so i'm not really sure what's going on here if you have an explanation let me know down below but one thing i can really notice right away is the colors the colors on the action 4 look much more accurate compared to the gopro hero 11 which looks very blue and green like and unnatural so which one you think looks better in this situation the action 4 or the gopro hero 11 let me know down below all right finally i would like to share with you what i did in final cut pro on my computer to achieve this look 
you're seeing right now. First, I did basic color correction by adding contrast and saturation using the color board and color curves. With the color board, I reduced the mid-tones to roughly minus 40% and highlights to minus 5% and increased the global saturation to 40%. Then, with the color curves, I added a point to the middle part of the shadows and slightly dragged it down to add contrast. After that, I used the hue versus saturation curves to correct the skin tones and adjust the colors in the shot. My skin was a little yellow out of the camera, so I added a point in the yellow colors and pushed it slightly towards the red colors. Then I didn't like the color of the teal slash green curtain in the background, so I added a point to the blue colors and pushed the hue towards blue while slightly reducing the saturation. Then I added sharpness because I reduced it in camera. Next I added a mask around me to create a slight vignette helping to separate me from the background. And finally to stylize the image Image, I applied a quick teal and orange gray by masking out my skin tones and pushing everything in the background towards teal slash blue. So can you use a DJI Osmo Action form as a studio camera? I think you can in a pinch but it definitely won't be my first choice. In this kind of environment I would definitely prefer to use a proper mirrorless camera. However if you don't have one and just have the action form you can still use it in this situation but you'll need very powerful lights to keep the ISO as low as possible. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And rumors say that the upcoming GoPro Hero 12 will have a one inch sensor, which will be even better than this. But as of now, in my opinion, the Action 4 is the best action camera to use as a studio camera because of its big sensor.